Ever wondered which Asian countries have more single women than men? Well, you're about to find out. We're embarking on a journey across Asia, exploring 10 countries grappling with a unique demographic dilemma. First on our list is China, known for its Great Wall and now its great gender imbalance. The Dragon of the East, a country of over a billion people, is facing a unique issue, a surplus of single women. This gender imbalance dates back to the late 20th century, when China introduced the one-child policy. This policy led to a preference for male offspring, creating a significant gender gap. Now, fast forward to the present day, China's population pyramid is skewed. In fact, by 2020, it is estimated that there were nearly 34 million more men than women. That's a city larger than Australia's entire population. The implications are far-reaching, affecting marriage dynamics, social structures, and economic growth. It's a pressing issue that the Chinese government is grappling with, and one that's garnering international attention. It seems China's one-child policy has left a lasting legacy. Next, we travel to India, the land of spices and paradoxes. A country steeped in rich history and tradition, India presents a unique paradox when it comes to its single women population. In a country of over a billion people, it's striking to see a rising number of single women. Recent census data reveals that there are millions of single women across the country, a figure that has been steadily climbing over the last decade. The reasons behind this are many, rooted deeply in the cultural fabric of the nation. While India is modernizing at a rapid pace, traditional values still hold a strong sway, particularly in rural areas. The societal expectation for women to marry and have children is immense. However, an increasing number of women are choosing to stay single. Prioritizing education and careers over marriage, India's culture and traditions seem to play a significant role in this scenario. Japan, the land of the rising sun and rising number of single women. Japan, a country known for its meticulous precision, is facing an interesting social dilemma. The gender imbalance is growing, with more women choosing to remain single. Data reveals that around two-thirds of unmarried Japanese women in their 20s and 30s are currently not in a relationship. There are various factors contributing to this trend. One significant factor is Japan's work culture, often characterized by long working hours which leaves little time for personal life. This has led many women to prioritize their careers over marriage. Societal norms also play a role. The expectation that women will become homemakers after marriage is a concept that many modern Japanese women are increasingly resisting. As a result, the number of women choosing to remain single is on the rise. In a society that values harmony and balance, this growing gender imbalance presents a unique challenge. Japan's work culture and societal norms are adding to this growing issue. Moving on to Vietnam, a country making progress but still grappling with gender imbalance. Vietnam, despite its rapid economic growth, is facing a significant issue with a high number of single women. The reasons vary, ranging from societal pressures to economic independence. The country's statistics reveal that there are roughly a million more single women than men. A large part of this imbalance stems from the preference for sons over daughters, an age-old custom that still persists in some rural areas. However, Vietnam is not standing idle. The government, along with various NGOs, has initiated many programs to address this issue. These initiatives aim to change societal attitudes, promote gender equality, and provide support to single women. Efforts are also made to encourage women's participation in the workforce, fostering economic independence and thereby reducing the pressure to marry. Vietnam is making strides, but there's still a long journey ahead. Thailand, known for its beautiful beaches and now, its surplus of single women. The land of smiles, as it's fondly called, has seen a notable rise in the number of single women. This isn't a simple social trend, but a complex issue interwoven with the country's booming tourism and economy. According to recent data, there are more single women in Thailand than ever before. One factor contributing to this shift is the country's thriving tourism industry. As more tourists flock to Thailand's picturesque landscapes and vibrant cities, many Thai women are choosing to prioritize careers in this bustling sector over traditional family life. However, this trend is not without its challenges. The economic opportunities presented by tourism are a boon, but they also present a conundrum. With more women focusing on careers, the gender balance in personal relationships is shifting, leading to a surplus of single women. Thailand's tourism industry may be a double-edged sword when it comes to gender balance. 
Next up is South Korea, a nation facing its own unique gender challenges. The land of morning calm is experiencing a significant gender imbalance. Recent reports show that for every 100 men there are now 112 women. This disparity is not just a number but a reflection of the complex interplay of cultural, economic, and societal factors. On one hand, traditional expectations still hold sway, with a preference for male children persisting in some regions. On the other hand, South Korea's robust economy and competitive education system have empowered women, leading to an increase in single, educated women who choose to delay or forego marriage. However, this imbalance is not without its consequences. It's affecting everything from the job market to the housing sector, even the country's birth rate. As South Korea continues to evolve, it must address these gender issues head on. South Korea's rapid modernization seems to have come with its own set of challenges. We now turn to the Philippines, a country seeing a surprising gender phenomenon. In this island nation, there's a unique gender imbalance that stands out from its Asian counterparts. According to a recent census, there are significantly more single women than men, a trend that's been on the rise for the past few decades. This striking imbalance can be traced back to several factors. One of the most prominent is migration. Filipino men often seek employment opportunities abroad, leaving a larger female population at home. Moreover, the robust local employment in sectors traditionally dominated by women, such as nursing and teaching, also contributes to this trend. However, the gender skew doesn't necessarily mean the country is a paradise for single men. The reality is more complex, as societal expectations and economic conditions play a significant role in shaping the dating and marriage landscape. The Philippines' gender imbalance is a complex issue with no easy solutions. Our journey takes us now to Indonesia, grappling with its own gender inequity issues. In this island nation, known for its stunning landscapes and diverse cultures, a different kind of imbalance takes root. Here, the number of single women surpasses the number of single men, a phenomenon that may seem puzzling to some. This disproportion is, in part, due to the societal norms and economic factors at play. Education and career prospects for women have improved dramatically over the years, leading many to delay or forego marriage altogether. However, the societal expectation for women to marry and start a family remains strong, creating a conflict that many women find difficult to navigate. On the other hand, the economic disparity between urban and rural areas means that many men migrate to cities for work, leaving a surplus of single women in rural areas. The complexities of these issues highlight that Indonesia's gender imbalance is a pressing issue that needs urgent attention. Last but not least is Malaysia, a country facing a perplexing gender mystery. This Southeast Asian nation is grappling with a unique conundrum, an unusually high number of single women compared to men. The numbers tell a compelling story. In the last decade we've seen a significant rise in the number of single women, a trend that sparked intense debate and research. Experts suggest a variety of potential reasons for this imbalance. Some point to increased educational opportunities for women, leading to a delay in marriage. Others argue that economic factors are at play, with women focusing on career advancement before settling down. Cultural shifts, too, are said to play a part with changing societal norms and expectations influencing the dynamics of relationships. But despite these theories, there's no definitive answer. The intricate interplay of cultural, economic, and educational factors makes it challenging to pinpoint a single cause. Malaysia's gender imbalance is a puzzle that continues to baffle experts. We've journeyed through Asia, exploring countries with an intriguing gender imbalance. We've seen the vast disparities in China, the paradox in India where tradition meets modernity, and the enigma that is Japan. We've explored the progress in Vietnam, the impact of tourism on Thailand, the challenges faced by Korea, the phenomenon that is the Philippines, the inequities in Indonesia, and the mystery that is Malaysia. Each of these countries has its own unique narrative, a story shaped by cultural, economic, and social factors, yet they all share a common thread, an excess of single women. This gender imbalance, whether a result of societal norms, economic factors, or demographic trends, presents both challenges and opportunities. As we've seen, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Each country must navigate its own path towards gender equity, respecting its unique cultural context while addressing the needs of its population. While each country has its own unique set of challenges, one thing is clear. The gender imbalance in Asia is a complex issue that requires thoughtful and comprehensive solutions.